Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. The American public has gotten used to hearing about drones in war. From battlefields in Iraq and Afghanistan to counterterrorism operations in Yemen and Somalia, these remote-controlled, unmanned aerial vehicles have become a regular feature of modern warfare. But recently, local fire and police departments have also received permission to fly unmanned drones carrying sophisticated surveillance equipment over American soil. The Federal Aviation Administration has announced that it will grant permits to public safety agencies that can demonstrate their ability to safely operate drones of up to 25 pounds. Those authorized to fly unmanned vehicles range from the obvious, like NASA and the FBI, to the not-so-obvious, like the U.S. Forest Service and the Honeywell Corporation, to the downright strange, like the Eastern Gateway Community College in Steubenville, Ohio. Perhaps the most remote drone owner is Ottertail County, Minnesota, located 60 miles southeast of Fargo, North Dakota, with a population of 57,000 people. Politicians on the left and right side of the aisle have expressed concerns about privacy and fears that drones could be hacked and hijacked by terrorists. They're calling for strict regulation of domestic drone use. The Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International, a trade group representing drone manufacturers, has released a code of conduct for the industry. It's a set of guidelines and recommendations for safe, non-intrusive operations of unmanned aircraft. These guidelines call on agencies and drone operators to respect the privacy of individuals, to comply with all laws, and to hold themselves to a high professional and ethical standard. What do you think? Is a voluntary code of ethics enough to calm the fears of civil libertarians and privacy rights activists? Will it help guarantee drones won't be used to spy on American citizens? This is Terence Hurley from the Carnegie Council. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org. 